I mean, it's a, a cliche, right? Yeah. Everybody has a 9-11 as a dream. Correct. That's one day I'll do that. And well, now I've got this one, I'm thinking maybe GT3 next one. Yes, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Dr. Alwi, yep. um, welcome to our Watch Your Story series where we're getting our friends to share about their love for cars yes. and what inspires them. Yep. Thank you for being here with Thanks. us today. Yeah. My name is Alwi Yunus. Um, I'm a cardiac surgeon with Institute Jantung Negara, the National Heart Institute here at Kuala Lumpur. And I have been there for 28 years now. Wow, 28. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 28. Right. I, I have to do the math. Well, from 1996, <laughs> yeah, as, as you can tell, um, I, I joined when I immediately got out of school. Don't okay. know, I'm just, yes. just kidding. But that was my first real job. Okay. And I've been there for 28 years, I didn't okay. move. Okay. Um, and at the start of training for being a cardiac surgeon, it doesn't give you much time. So it's work, sleep, wake up, go back to work some more. But as you um, grow up in your career, you find out as a junior consultant, you suddenly have time. You have other people to look after the patients for you. And you have a bit more um, additional cash that you want to spend. The first thing I did was get an ODTT, <laughs> which, um, of course, yes. driven detail. Yes. Um, that was, what, 15, 13? Yes, at least. Uh, 15 at least. years ago. Yes. And I drove that car for 13 years. And people might say it's a hairdresser's car, but God, did I love that car. And when I eventually um, tried to sell it, because it would cost too much yeah. to maintain, yeah. um, my son wanted it. So okay. he took it over, okay. which is not the smartest thing because you still have to maintain it. <laughs> Only you can't drive it anymore, but I missed having that that okay. that car. Okay. So um, I drove an A5 for the last four or five years, yeah. but I finally felt that I could do it. I bought a 911, and Darren <laughs> took me to get through to with with Nick, who is an excellent source of these things. So I got I got the dream car. I mean, my neighbor when when I was in school had a 911. I think it was the second second generation. Okay, okay. It had this huge huge rear spoiler okay and that would be well, the 964 or the 993 with the whale tail right uh, uh, yeah. yes exactly yeah. and gosh that that guy sounded something else i mean if you are catholic they'll tell you thou shall not covet their neighbor's wife but it's okay to covet thy neighbor's car um and that was i mean it's a, a cliche right yeah. everybody has a 911 as a dream correct that's one day i'll do that and well, now I've got this one, I'm thinking maybe GT3 next one. Yes, okay. yes, 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 we'll find but, you one. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll be a good boy, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with this. Um, and, and that went on. The, the other thing we share is bikes. Yes. Uh, bicycles. Yes, yeah. Bicycles are the real joy. And as Darren has found out, um, it rapidly takes over your entire life. It does. Um, you get through a group that kicks your butt every weekend and yeah, you tell yourself, same. no, next week, I'm not going to let that guy do that to me again. <laughs> I'm going to train and I'm going to make them eat it, um, bite the, chew the handlebar tape instead of me. It's, it's worked out quite well, but now time doesn't really allow me, allow me that much that I would like, but I intend to go back to it. Bike riding takes a lot of time. It does. It does. It, it's a. It's a. It's a commitment. I, I tell bike. people that bikes, in a, in a sense, is uh, it's almost like an equalizer, right? You you can buy the best bikes. Yeah. But you need to put in the miles. Ah, that, that's right. That's right. Um, I, I get what you mean by equalizer. Yeah, yeah. Um, unlike cars, yes, you in can't which buy them. The, the the fatter your wallet, yes. the better the car. Yes. Um, bikes, no. It's the more time hours you put on the bike the better you are. So it doesn't matter if you have the Tour de France ready bike. When we were riding up the Alpe de Huez, yep. we'll get this guy pushing 60 in a ancient steel bike and he'll slam past you. And as he slams past you, he'll look you up and down, look at your bike and say, ah, oh, you pose, and then crash off. And you go, shit. I'm I'm fortunate to have a wife that lets me indulge all of these things. She doesn't she doesn't hassle me about that. So it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a good life. There's a lot to be thankful for. My investment banker told me I should invest in high value assets that are mobile and so I bought the car, yeah, and the bike. So that that's that's my plan in life. 
I would not say I'm a petrol head. I, okay. I would not. I, as I said earlier, my TT I go for 13 years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's super unpetrol head, right? Well, it is. It's a it? sense that a lot of us keep our cars. Really? I've got cars that I've had from day one till now. I, I've kept it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I like machines that are well engineered. Okay. I like things that are pretty. Um, I like things that work the way they're supposed to work. Okay. And I insist that on machines and stuff that I okay. buy. Okay. So I suppose cars are ex an extension of that. When it comes to bikes, it's yeah. not so bad. Yes. Because you can indulge yes. on that. And yes, it, you can. It's not that big a money pit. <laughs> but a car, I think that's a completely different it's, thing. It's different, so yeah. I approach this with some fear. <laughs> Thankfully, my kids are all grown. They've, um, my youngest is in second year in University of Malaya. He's in medical school, but that's 18,000 for the whole five years. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know guys yeah. who are paying more per semester yes, correct. in secondary school. Yes, so you're right. I'm, I'm perfectly cool with that. But at the same time, I'm a bit wary as to how much this thing is going to cost me in the end. So I approached this with some trepidation. So when it came to bikes, yeah. when you first bought yeah. your first bike, yes, yeah. you thought, oh, that much? Yeah. Oh, that's silly. Yeah. But two years down the yeah, line, right. is that much? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> okay. Where, where's my card? Okay. I'll type that, my credit card number in. That's quite cheap. So your impression of what costs a lot of money? Changes, changes right? very quickly. <laughs> changes very um, quickly. It's, it's uncanny. Um, after a while, it's anything goes. But, <laughs> so I'll play cautiously with it. I think it's a good journey that you have. The car that you've picked up, that new Porsche, it's also a car that's built to last. I think you're going to enjoy the miles with this one. Yeah. I hope yeah. so. I hope so. I think at it's the end of the good. day, we're also looking at, you know, that hashtag oh. YOLO, you know. <laughs> but uh, if I can get a word in yeah. at this, yeah. I, I must say, brilliant job. Thank I mean, you. if, Thank if you. well, we, we need to show pictures of what it looked like before. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful car. It's, it's a Carrera S. How can it not be beautiful? But it had gold rims. Okay. It <laughs> yes, had it a gold stripe running on down the fender. Everywhere. It had Porsche <laughs> on the side. I mean, what? That was the guy thinking. So when I saw it, I thought, nice, yeah. but and 2000 km on the clock, yes. how bad could that be? Right? But yeah. I, I felt that we have to redo this. So I spoke to Darren and he did a beautiful job on the rims. Thank you. Thank of course, you. a beautiful Thank job on the paintwork and yes. the, the tinting as yes. well. So yeah. thanks, though. Thank you so much. It looks like blood. It does. Right? It, it looks does. like it blood. Does. I mean, it it's wet, it's red, it looks wet, <laughs> it's blood. So I feel right at home. To me, if, if there was one thing I live by is that you make your decision, then you stick to it and you make it work. Okay. I think too many of us spend too long, um, am I going to do this, am I going to do that, worrying before they make the decision. And after they make that decision, they blame everybody till Sunday about um, what they did if it didn't turn out right. Even if it turned out right, but yes. it didn't turn out as well as yeah. they wanted. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. To me, don't do that. Okay. Uh, my philosophy would be make your decision and, and then it. own it. Make it work for you. And if it doesn't work, that was your decision. If you have to correct it, correct it. Yeah. If you, you have to live with it, live with it. Or if you, have to, you can celebrate it, if you can find something there to celebrate, then celebrate that. But don't, for God's sakes, blame others for, for what essentially you did. Yes. Now, that would be my advice. You know, talking about um, what you were sharing earlier about when you start, you don't have time. And then as you go along in your profession, time seems to expand a little bit more. Right. Yep. You seem to have come full circle now. Yes. <laughs> Oddly um, enough, right? Yeah, I, I'm waiting for the pendulum to swing the other way. At the moment, a lot of this has to do with COVID-19. Okay and post-COVID-19. Just pre-COVID-19, our waiting list was perhaps six weeks at max. Now it's drifted off to 14, 18 weeks. So it's coping with the numbers. But I rapidly find that you, you can't win this. Yeah, I feel like the Dutch boy with his thumb in the <laughs> yeah, dike. Yeah. Yeah. No, no way you can, you can plug this. So we, we are doing the other thing as well, yeah. training up the numbers, yes. pushing our ministers, our, the powers that be yeah. to fund um, this and it, it's working. Okay. I, I know this might not be the most fashionable thing, but I think it's 
it's true that the government of the day does seem to listen more okay, and absolutely. is putting money where it should go. So okay. I think soon um, yeah. you will see results of this Wonderful. initiative. Wonderful. So I, I, I'm optimistic at yeah. this. I think we all are. Yeah. We also want to see uh, new changes as well yeah. coming yeah, to yeah, the yeah. country. We've, yeah. we've all been waiting a long time. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know. This group, I'm sure, completely apolitical. Yes, correct. Um, yes, yeah, yes, and yeah, so yeah. am I. Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm completely apolitical, but yeah. I, I do see things that uh, okay. is cause for being being okay. optimistic. Okay. So I hope it, it happens. That's a good encouragement for all yeah. of us, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. so. Wonderful. I hope so. Fingers Wonderful. crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed, man. I think that essentially I'm a very modest and generous person. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much an open book. Okay. Um, I think when it comes to me, what you see is essentially what you get. There are not many things that I would think that people do not know immediately about me if they know me for a while. But I think what isn't, it's probably not immediately obvious is how much misfortune hits us personally and how much other people's misfortune blows back on us okay. and takes away a lot of life to us. I think when, when, when things don't go right, particularly at work, that hits you really hard. Um, but you're not allowed to, to show it. Okay. You, you never would you be able to show weakness, fallibility. Yes. Yeah, it's necessary to go on no matter what. Um, if everything is going to shit around you, yeah. Yeah, you, you must be the part that doesn't move. Yeah. Yeah? But that really isn't humanly possible. So we, we learn we learn to, to keep that hidden. Yeah, but it does hurt you really badly. So I would say probably that. That's the one thing that, that people don't realize. Yeah, I think in your line of work, um, in your particular profession, that hits hard all the time. Every time you go in, well, there's uh, nothing light about it. You most, know? most of the time, it turns out well. Yeah. So it's a high, yeah. Yeah? most yeah. of the time. Yeah. But do. 3%? No. So that, that, that gets you though. So that, that one you can't go away from, but you're not allowed to show it. Yes. Yeah. So Correct. I think that's the part that people it's, don't it's know, hard. but that, that will never, yeah. that'll never be, yeah. be something that you have the luxury of, of indulging. Correct. Yeah? Correct. When I first started cycling, when we cycle, we use these clip-ins. Okay. So I, I was on normal, normal, regular sports shoes. The other cycling guys will make fun of you yes, because yes. you don't use these clip-ins. Not cool. So right? not, it's not cool. <laughs> not not proper cycling dynamics. It's much more efficient to use the clip-ins. So I used the clip-ins, and I was at a traffic light alone. Um, the tra light went from green to red, so I brake, and I'm at the front of it. And of course, I have, I'm clipped in, so I can't put my foot down, so I tip over. I tip over and I fall in front of the, the car. So by the time I sort myself out and get to my feet, the light has turned green <laughs> and I'm blocking the whole row of cars and I get back on my feet and the light turns red again. Right? So this whole row of cars have missed this light um, in Damansara Padana. Amazingly, nobody honked. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I dare not look in the car. I'm just quietly getting on my bike, clipped in again, waiting for the light to change. But I, I guess they're all laughing, right? So that's why they don't, they're not, it's entertainment for it the is, day to watch the cyclists it is, it uh, is. fall. Um, but uh, that, that's probably the funniest that I can think of. Lah. What's your ideal car? A 911 GT3. What color would it be? Red. What's your ideal weekend? My ideal weekend would actually be on a bike, somewhere on a mountain. I would prefer to be, do the Stelvio again, and this time not stop. The last time I stopped 3km from the start, 3km oh. from the peak. Oh. So this time I, I, I won't get in the car, I'll finish it to the end. That would be my ideal weekend. Introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Otherwise I won't have a red car, right? What's your favourite hobby? I guess it'll be, it'll be bike riding. Um, other than that, work. Uh, I, I like the work. And um, I think we've concluded our great. interview for today. Yeah, Thank it's you been very a lot much. of fun. Yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been great having you here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks. A lot of fun. Thank you. So, what's your story? That's it. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to go GT3, GT3 RS. Um, 
Uh, go that way. Uh, I, I think I better I better um, can erase Nick's number from my phone. I right? think we'll just delete this section because I, I think <laughs> the, the wife might hungry. watch this. You no, know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's coming. The it's coming. It's this, going yeah. to come. But, Everyone but, says it won't. Yeah. But eventually it happens.